Hello everyone, this is The Duck in Japan, and today I'd like to talk about my recent experience uh, replacing the batteries in these three iPhones. Uh, this experience has re caused me to reflect about some similar issues that I've experienced in roasting coffee in this pan. So this was my first time to replace the uh, battery on an iPhone 7, uh, but at least my second time to replace the battery on an iPhone 4 series or 5 series. The last set of batteries that I had installed in the iPhone 4 and 5, in this case, um, had lasted over three years each. But repairing an iPhone 7 is a bit more challenging than repairing an iPhone 4 or 5 series. A lot of the challenge of taking apart and putting back together something like this is all the tiny screws that you have to keep organized and make sure you put back in the right place. But increasingly, there's another issue and that's the use of these very sophisticated adhesives to uh, adhere both the batteries inside to the structure, um, but also in the case of the iPhone 7 and above to adhere the screen to the back case. And that's a new thing that wasn't uh, in the iPhone 4 or 5. But it, it has some great uh, advantages in this case because it keeps the iPhone 7 and above much more water resistant than the iPhone 4 and 5 were. So here's where the analogy of roasting coffee comes in. So at this time of year in Japan, uh, in this area, the uh, temperatures overnight uh, get in the house, get down to just above freezing, which is the lower limit for operating temperatures for an iPhone. Uh, Apple states that the operating temperature for an iOS device should be zero degrees to 35 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's a slightly uh, wider range for storage temperature. But the adhesives that um, adhere the battery to the, to the inside of the case and also to um, they keep the case together uh, are very tough and hard when they're cold. So in order to successfully remove them in an environment like this, uh, I have to follow a trick that I've learned with coffee roasting, which is basically when I roast green coffee in this pan, I warm up the pan at the lowest heating setting for 10 minutes. And then I get very even results when I roast coffee. Uh, some people like to roast coffee with a heat gun, or it's very tempting to take a hair dryer or a heat gun to an iPhone. But I think that this is maybe a little too extreme. I, I certainly respect and uh, admire the people who uh, are able to uh, roast coffee that way and even to open iPhones that way. Uh, but I'd like to advocate a more gentle approach. So that's where my friend, this bear, uh, comes in to explain things. So basically what you should think about is to keep the bear warm under an electric blanket. So basically, if you're scalding or uh, you know, getting burning the skin of the bear, then that's not what you're trying to accomplish here. You're really trying to get the iPhone to its to the upper range of its maximum operating temperature. And I suggest doing that for about 30 minutes and um, turning the iPhone off before you attempt doing that, just because um, devices don't really, electronic devices don't really like to be operated at high temperatures. 
That makes removing the adhesives on the back of the battery and opening the case much more easy. And when you're done, uh, in order to get the adhesives to uh, adhere strongly, I would suggest to uh, keep the iPhone under pressure. Uh, there's a trick from iFixit, which involves putting coins on the back of the phone and then putting a large book on it and keeping it warm for about half an hour and then turning off the heat, letting it sit, and uh, when you're done, you'll get a nice hard seal. So now I'd like to show you a time lapse of the process of replacing the batteries in all of these phones. Thank you for watching. I'd also like to thank iFixit for their wonderful tutorials on battery replacement for these phones. They have a terrific page about dealing with the adhesives that are in the iPhone 7 and above, which I'd highly recommend. Uh, I'd also like to thank Useful Parts for uh, sharing the design of this uh, screw organizer that I used to make sure that my screws were all in the right place when I put things back together. I also found uh, YouTube videos by Fix EZ and Jerry Rig Everything, um, very useful for uh, this, for figuring out what I wanted to do with this. Also like to thank uh, San Luis Hayashi for uh, my bear mask that uh, watches over me while I roast coffee. And I'm very grateful to Tina A and I, Miyahara, for uh, sharing with me and bringing me a wonderful green roasted coffee from Thailand. I'd like to thank Ben Sound for uh, the wonderful music that I used in this video. And I look forward to your comments and questions and feedback.